is Mr. Stanton Witherspoon. He's the CEO for a radio station in Liberia. It's called Spoon FM. Apparently, he had a nursing school or has a nursing school in America. He's from Liberia. He has a nursing school in America, and he paid and the nurse the students that was at it, that attended his nursing school. They pay him fifteen thousand dollars a piece, and he gave them a nursing degree, so they didn't have to go through the whole is it two years or four years, however long they do, for the nurses degree. So we have hundreds of nurses. I'm assuming they are all Liberian nurses. Maybe not. Maybe a combination of Liberian nurses and American nurses. But I saw this in a local news in in America here. Uh, in, in yes, I saw it. So this must be something big that is pretty big. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't remember them mentioning his name, but I remember hearing something about fake nurses' degrees. Um, but you see how dangerous, you see how dangerous and wicked uh, greed is. So there are hundreds of nurses out there with de degrees that they purchased from him. So he put human being lives at risk. He put humanity lives. If that was one of your loved ones that would, that these one of these nurses were treating, how would you feel now? Do you see what I'm saying? All for the sake of money and fame and fortune. The picture you see, that's a young man right there. And those are all his properties, multi-million dollar properties that he purchased, that he purchased with the money he made, the millions he made. And some of the comments I'm reading, people are saying, why he didn't go buy all those houses in Liberia? Why he spent the money in America? You see, people are just thinking. Anyway, he's going to spend his time. I think, I don't know how many years you're going to give him, 10 or 20 years in jail in um in America, and then they're going to deport him to Liberia. Can you imagine that? People, what if that was your parents? Africa, Liberians, humanity as a whole. We have to check our heart and our motives, our drives and our desires. What drive us to do things? And why do we do things? And then you do this kind of thing, you think you'll never get caught and then from the comments I read in, under his, this post here, many people say he used to go to social media to criticize other corrupt politicians. Is it just not another corrupt man or uh, criticize another corrupt man? And then you guys who are even saying that, who are commenting stuff under his comments, search your own self. You search yourself. Let me search myself. Let us search ourselves. Are you not corrupt? Because we think corruption just means what? What the, politi the politician take the money? No, corruption... Ha they, they, to, for somebody to be morally corrupt, it has so many different definitions. You cheating on your school exam, are you not corrupt? You sleep with a professor to pass an exam or pass the class, are you not corrupt? You the professor, you demanded the young ladies to sleep with you just to pass, are you not corrupt? You have a wife, then you have two or three uh, side chicks or babies all over the place by different women, are you not corrupt in your moral judgment? You have a business, you're cheating your customers or your business partner, you're hiding some stuff. Are you not corrupt? You gossip and lie and spread and tarnish people's names and character and tear them down on social media. Are you also not morally corrupt? The society as a whole, are we all not corrupt and morally bankrupt? Or want to cheer and celebrate that someone else's corruption has been brought to light? Meanwhile, your corruption is sitting, you are sitting under it, or it's hiding in, in the closet for now. Hello, Africa. Hello, Liberia. Hello, humanity. Me, who's giving this message? I'm not claiming to be any per perfect person. I'm not claiming to be perfect by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just bringing the light to each of us, myself included. Can we search ourselves? Can we search ourselves and be brutally and sincerely honest and get right with ourselves? Before you too, your filthy laundry is brought to light and it becomes the next talking point on social media. Can we search ourselves? We have no right to demand our politicians to be morally correct. We have no right to demand our leaders to have moral and ethics when we ourselves are lacking the very same thing in private. Our leaders are merely reflecting back to us who we are individually and corporately in our private lives, if we are honest. But an African man, the truth to him is an insult. This is your girl, Dagnet, the African blogger. Thank you for sharing this. 
thank you for subscribing and leave your comments below anybody who come with insulting words because liberians sometimes most africans if they don't like what you say instead of them pass and mind their business they will come telling your mother this your mother you see what i'm saying you don't agree with somebody post then you insulting the mother's private part or you insulting their private part and say look at your face what does that have to do with anything are you also not corrupt is it by force that every video you must watch and you must leave a comment do you not know how to pass and mind your business or just listen and say well i agree with what you're saying but let me pass or i don't agree with what you're saying let me pass you must comment any kind of rude and insulting comment you too have a black button i have no problem utilizing it and you too should have no problem utilizing it if you don't like what i'm saying i appreciate you and i bless you thank you